BTEC Applied Science Unit 3, Diffusion of Molecules. What is diffusion? What factors will affect the rate of diffusion? Imagine you have a tray with lots of marbles in it and some of the marbles are green and they're all in the corner and then the all, all the other marbles are white. But uh, what you do is you pick up the tray and you shake it, shake it, shake it for a few minutes and what's going to happen? Well, there's going to be a lot of mixing going on, a lot of random motion, and you'll end up with the green marbles all mixed in with the white marbles. So what has happened and why? If you like, the green marbles have diffused from a, from a high concentration to a low concentration. And that is what diffusion is. The particles in a fluid, uh, a fluid is a gas or a liquid, they're not stationary, they're moving as well. They're in a constant random motion, jiggling around and mixing with each other. What is diffusion? Diffusion is the movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. If you look at this animation, the little yellow dots, the moving from a high concentration to a low concentration. Why are they doing this? Because the particles are moving randomly and this natural mixing will occur as the particles are moving around. Examples of diffusion. Well, if you put a tea bag into a nice hot cup of tea, uh, hot water, then the, you can watch the color of the tea as it diffuses into the water. Uh, a common demonstration is if you put uh, some kind of a dye or a piece of potassium permanganate into water and you can see the colour diffusing into the water. Uh, I demonstrate it with some perfume. I spray some perfume in the room uh, and then these perfume molecules diffuse into the room and then eventually everybody smells it. Uh, biological now, in diffusion inside our body, well, diffusion happens, stuff gets into and out of our cells. Oxygen has to diffuse into our cells through a membrane. Carbon dioxide diffuses out of our cells through a membrane. So diffusion happens into and out of cells in your body. Very important in your lungs as well. Oxygen diffuses into your blood uh, from the alveoli. Carbon dioxide diffuses out of your blood. So gas exchange by diffusion in the lungs. So high concentration to low concentration. Now diffusion will continue until there is no difference in concentration. However, the molecules, the particles, will still be moving through the membrane, but you'll have the same number going one way as the other way. You'll end up with what we call a, a dynamic equilibrium. The molecules are still moving through the membrane, but there is a dynamic equilibrium. It's balanced.